this week or any other time about the, I guess the personal significance of this game going back to Tennessee where he got injured last time? No, I, mean, I don't think he harps on it too much or anything like that. So, um, I mean, he's my best friend, but I don't talk about that at all. You think it's a even a factor for him when you go back to a place where like that? No, I don't think so. I mean, stuff happens in this game that we play. And I mean, if someone gets hurt in the practice field, I don't think you know every time they go to the practice field it affects them. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just part of the game. And, right. um, I mean, I think a lot of people get hurt and. It's just part of it. I mean, nothing was intentional or anything like that, so I don't think it uh, affects them. You didn't think so? That was a pretty, it was a low hit, you know, out in the open field. I mean, if I had to tackle Keith, I don't think I'd try to go high either. Um, <laughs> he'd, probably, he'd probably make me miss. Yeah, so, that's a good point. Um, I mean, it's, it's a football yeah. play. Yeah. Um, you've been around for a while, and you've been around for a few losses. How do you feel like teams responded, you know, with the week of practice after this, just based on what you've seen? Um, I think the guys have done well. Um, Tim and Mom. Sunday even, watching film, um, you know, trying to fix what we need to fix and um, preparing, preparing for this weekend. Um, you know, to kind of forget about it, move on, um, learn from mistakes, and I think the guys have done a good job of that. Is it really a situation where you guys can, can really forget about it, or is it just still kind of sticking in the back of your mind as you're working out there and trying to get things done? Yeah, no, I, I, I completely, it's past me. Um, I don't harp on it or think about it at all, uh, personally. I don't know about some of the other guys, but... Um, by the way they've worked, it seems like they have forgot about it. How, how much of an emphasis are you guys, especially the linemen, are uh, taking, you know, really getting after it in the run game this week against Tennessee? Um, I think that's every week for us. Um, you know, that's one of our goals is we want to be physical and get after it. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, um, just like this week and the other week, we want to um, establish the run game. I guess uh, uh, Coach Schottenheimer and Coach Rick had mentioned, you know, maybe should have run more inside runs against Bama and whatnot. Is that something that – you guys just feel like you do a lot better, just make sure you hit between the tackles with those guys? Um, I mean, whenever they dial up, we want to try to execute to the best of our ability. Um, I mean, I guess that has one of our strengths throughout the past few years is um, running the ball and running it inside. Keep Marshall. Um, and I'll see you all later. But <laughs> 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 whenever that, uh, we, do want to, we do want to run in between the tackles. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't coming in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, yeah, you, you deal with this all the time. How, uh, how difficult is it just to uh, play an offensive line, not being able to hear well? This is a place notoriously bad yeah. for, for the opposing team to hear. Is that? It, it, and, and sometimes it takes away the advantage that the offense has because you're, you're having to you can't hear the snap count either, right? Uh, yeah, uh, it makes it fun uh, to a certain extent, but it is a pain in the butt sometimes. Um, I mean, we know, you know those hundred, however many thousand people in that stadium that can be loud. Um, it was loud two years ago when we played there. Um, so we prepare for it. But, yeah, I mean, it definitely does uh, take away a little bit of the edge that you have as an offense, you know, the snap count and stuff like that. So we just got to make sure we communicate that much more and, uh, you know, really focus in on it. What have you guys been doing in practice to try to make sure that communication is completely on point for this weekend? Yeah, we just been having a lot of loud noise. Uh, this big speakers out there um, with the fan noise and doing that, and sometimes having the quarterback whisper. Sometimes you know, it's a little bit difficult to hear. Um, so try to, you know, I don't think you can emulate that many people. Um, yeah. You can't copy that, uh, but we try the best we can with the speakers and stuff like that. So even with the crowd noise, the quarterbacks whispering at times to. Make it even that much harder to hear? Um, sometimes, yeah. Um, this week, for the most part, it's when like we're talking and like the, the crowd noise is not here whispers. Um, but I know in years past here, we have done crowd noise and whispering um, to try to get used to it. Now, what's the uh, what's the confidence level of the run game going into this this game? I mean, I, you know, the, you can look at the stats and see that they're you know they're not like Alabama at stopping the run, but I'm sure y'all don't view it like that that they're, they're going to be easier to run against. What's the kind of the mindset going into this? Yeah, game? not at all. We know they have some uh, really good D linemen. Um, I know they're a good sophomore on the edge, number nine. Um, some good players, some good linebackers. So we're going to have to be on our game um, to be able to execute. But um, you know, hopefully if we execute, we can open up some holes for these running backs. And um, you know, like I said, just looking at the game, we, we want to try to run the ball going in. Uh, especially as the offensive line, we pride ourselves on that. Why do you think they always play you guys so close? I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's a rivalry that goes back to date. I mean, the series is tied. Um, it's just an all, always an old rivalry. And, you know, the guys get ready to play. Um, they have, I'm sure, a few bit of guys from Georgia. We have some guys from Tennessee on our roster. And, um, you know, it's just an SEC matchup. It always, it always been played close, and it always will be.
does it do, uh, do we overblow it or do fans get it overblown that you know all right, Georgia lost to Alabama so now this is a bigger game you know and uh, I guess they're, I mean they're all big you weren't, if you'd beaten Alabama you'd still yeah man. and the thing is with it being the East game like you said yeah. you know all these SEC East games are huge especially with how some of the other teams are used to playing um, obviously you got you know, teams like Florida and Phoenix and stuff like that so um, anytime you play an opponent in the East um, it's a huge game. Uh, because I mean, ultimately, you want to get to Atlanta for the SEC championship game, and in order to do that, you got to beat each and every team in the East. Well, with that being said, as far as this past week was, I guess, sense of urgency might be strong, but were things intensified, or is it just the same, very comparable to past weeks, just as far as preparation, the coaching? Yeah, what no. was your sense? I mean, I, mean, I think it's just like every week. I think so far the guys have done good every week, you know, given their all and the coaches have. You know, been equally as intense every week, um, bringing their best. Um, so I don't think it's you know amplified up as that. Um, but we do know the importance of the game. Um, and we are aware of that. With the ground game having struggled against Alabama, like having had the luxury of looking through tape and stuff like that, do you feel like those are fixable mistakes, like on George's part? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's stuff that we didn't execute um, on a lot of people's parts, and we're going to fix those issues. We have fixed those issues. And um, I mean, any game that you have, whether you know, there's games we run for 200, 300 yards that there's still mistakes on that we got to fix. So it's just like any other game, we just got to come in and fix it and uh, get ready for the next week.